Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to one of our upcoming listings. This one's not even on the market yet. But before we get into this one, right here's my link, right there is my QR code. You can scan it with your phone and it will take you straight to my free mobile app. You'll receive homes directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So. This is quite a home today. It's huge. You can see it starts all the way over here. It goes all the way over here. But again, I am starting to put the maps up on the screen. Please leave a comment. Do you like the fact that I am adding the map so you can kind of see where we are in the valley? Or do you want me to continue just skipping that part? Now, before we get into this one, this is a Skya. This is in Henderson in a guard gated community actually really nice. Every single one of the homes in here is custom. I believe there's something like 145 homes in the community for now. They're gonna build some more of uh, Blue Heron. Those are more, not full custom like this, but you can pretty much customize them however you want. This one right here is 5,425 square feet. It is five bedroom, three and a half bath. It's three car garage. And this one is going to go on the market probably later this week, next week sometime at 1.749 million. So before we head on in, I know this is a resale and I know I say it in all my new home video videos, but if you are thinking about buying new, you are considering buying new or you want to buy a new home, call me before you call the builder, before you call the associates, before you email them, before you go take a look at the models in person. Because if you go and do that, you're gonna work directly with the sales associates and they actually represent the builder. They don't work for you. They're gonna facilitate the transaction, but if you want representation, give me a call. Again, all my info is down on the description and the pinned comment. So love to hear from you and love to help you out. Now, again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And I am going back to daily posting. So if you want to stay up to date, make sure to subscribe. This home is big. I just ran in to turn on all the lights, but I love all this landscaping out front. You don't really see that in a lot of communities that are brand new. This home was built in 2005. So not that old, but you'll see it's pretty well done on the interior. I really, really like this home. Coming on in. And I'm sorry if there's an echo in here. There's no furniture. There is no artwork. You can see just how big and open this place really is. Now, usually I go upstairs first, but let's start down on the first floor. And then we'll work our way up and end out back and in that kitchen area. So we have this huge railing. But let's start right here. We have this amazing office. And look at all of the windows. They have the shutters all over the place. Really nicely done. So you have double door French entry into here. This room is massive and it feels even bigger because these ceilings are probably, I don't know, 24 feet, give or take. All the built-ins, there's even storage in here. I guess technically you could use this as a guest room, but I don't know if your guests are gonna be too happy when you could peek over the corner and say hello. <laughs> but we have that huge storage. We'll come to there just in a second. So if you need extra pantry space or just long-term, you know, for paper goods, all of that kind of stuff, you could always put that in here. Or if you are doing office work in here, I put like all my printer stuff in here. If we head on out and go straight across, we do have a downstairs bedroom and these rooms are big. So double slider with glass. Again, the room, it, it's hard to describe how big they are when you don't have furniture in them. But I love the fact, and I know I always say that with other homes that don't have it, the can lights are so nice to have. We do have a ceiling fan with our light on it too. And then this one is a junior suite and ensuite. It has its own personal bathroom. I'm guessing, I didn't go and check, but are they soft clothes? They feel like it. Nope, not the drawers. So I'm guessing maybe these aren't either. They have nicer sliders, but they're just not quite soft clothes. Awesome stone. We do have our undermounted sink. We have our toilet and then this awesome shower downstairs. So they tiled it all. You can see there's even a wand and the shower head. If we spin around and come on out, I really like 
this one room down here just because I feel like I'd spend so much time down here. I love watching TV. I also like to work out. So right here, these two rooms are pretty neat as well as this bathroom. So they had turned this into a home gym. Pretty neat, they have glass all around. You could easily fit, you know, the bike, the treadmill, even a little um, like yoga area if you wanted to. This could be another bedroom if you wanted to use it that way. If you took the glass off or I mean, if you like looking at yourself, you might like the mirrors, but it does have a closet. So, and there's a lot of space back there. Technically you do have two rooms downstairs, this room would be on the smaller side, just because from there to there is probably only six and a half feet or so. It'd be small, but if you needed an extra room, you could use it as an extra room. I like what they did, the, uh, the gym. Right here we have the theater, and it is really cool how they already have stepped it up so you can do the chairs. They did the crown molding. Actually, is it double or triple? It looks like three layers of crown molding. And then you can see all the walls have the caps for the speakers. So you can put speakers all over the place. This is a big room again. You could easily fit like nine full recliners in here, but I don't know if anyone would be all the way up in front. You'd probably do like maybe four and four or three and three. Let's go ahead and check out this feature that I wish more houses with pools had. I love this. It has the toilet. It has its vanity, really neat one. And then you can go straight out of the pool. So if you're holding a pool party here, no need for people to go through the house, into the kitchen, all that kind of stuff. They just come straight to the bathroom if need be. Really neat sink, that's pretty cool. Nice stone. And then this door is also, it's got a frosted glass on it. Just wanna pan up just so you can see how big this home is it feels way bigger than you know 5,000 square feet coming on up the stairs they have this huge stair, um, curved staircase and then again right here below us would be that office you have strip views so that's the office space I'm gonna spin just so you can see you can see this is some of the custom homes that's the blue heron that's um, being built up there and we have this huge space. I'll get over to the master here in a bit and show you the views, they're insane. You can see the entire strip. But right here we have bedroom number one. Pretty good sized bedroom. We have a balcony and it's really neat. This balcony actually goes to across the way so it shares with the other room right here as well. Can lighting, I love when I see can lighting in bedrooms. It does, it's not always necessary but it is nice to have, especially if you don't use a lot of lamps. Let's poke outside real quick. So right here, coming on out, you can see basically the whole entire valley. I'm gonna spin around just so you can see how big this balcony is as well. Here we have all of the custom built um, with Blue Heron being built. And then, Coming on out and back into the house, we have our closet. So a small walk-in closet. Actually, I take it back. It goes pretty far. <laughs> it's a nice size closet. You have some built-ins right here. We come on out and check out that next room. I do believe, again, I just ran through to turn on the lights. I didn't really go through everything. Right here, we have our media room, our AV room for the controls and everything with the house. And then we have our next bedroom. So we have double shelf, single shelf, and even behind there's double shelf right here. Coming into the bedroom, again, we have our balcony, same exact thing. It's a little toasty today, so I'm not gonna go back out. And then we have can lighting, molding, crown molding, huge baseboard, good size room. It's probably maybe 11 by 11, I don't know. It's not the biggest. The other room downstairs is a bit bigger than this one. And then the master suite is absolutely huge. It's hard to fully comprehend when you're just watching the videos, how big the rooms are because there's no objects in them. You could easily fit a bed, even a nightstand, probably a small desk. Just don't want this door to slam. Upstairs bathroom. Again, really nice stone. Same exact cabinets as before, undermounted sink, 
The glass goes all the way to the ceiling. We have our toilet and then this one, tub shower combo. And it is a jacuzzi tub, it is jetted. You have the plate that you can pull off if you need to service it. We have our uh, filler, valves, wand, and shower head. And they tiled all the way to the ceiling here. Now, you can enter the master through here or you can go all the way down and around and enter through those doors. I'm just gonna give you a quick pan so we can see everything. And you should see the views from this room. Pretty neat. Coming on in. So we have our sitting area. And this room's huge. <laughs> it's bigger than the other bedroom. It's really, really big. Again, sitting area. If you needed another office, you can use this as another office space. Just a little retreat to relax. We have a three-way fireplace. We have our little wet bar right here. We have a fridge. We have a sink if you want to do like an espresso in the morning or a little nightcap in the evening. And then we come into the actual main bedroom part. Again, crown molding everywhere. We have French doors off the master. It has its own private balcony. And check out these views. Oh, they're amazing. One second, I'm gonna zoom in too. You can even see the airplanes landing. So, full strip view. I can see from the Mandalay all the way to the Stratton, even part of downtown all the way out there. So coming back in really quickly, actually while we're here, one of the nice things about buying a resale compared to new is if the backyard fits what you're looking for, you don't have to pay for it when you're buying new. When you're buying new, a backyard, they're getting more and more expensive right now and you only get dirt. So figure on a new backyard, a pool spa heater before landscaping is probably 60 grand. It used to be quite a bit cheaper, but prices have gone up so much. A backyard fully done with the pool, with landscaping and everything. Figure at minimum, you're probably gonna be north of 80 grand. Usually you're gonna be pushing that 100,000, if not over. I'm gonna give you a pan really quickly before we go into that awesome, awesome bathroom. But this room's huge. <laughs> it takes up like the whole wing of the house. Right here we have a huge jacuzzi tub. It is jetted as well. You can see the jets down here. You have the, um, the filler and the wand as well. Look at this. So double vanities. They have glass going all the way to the ceiling. We do have a little makeup area. These sinks are a little bit bigger than the other ones we've been taking a look at. They're a little bit more rectangular. And then over here, we have some linen area and we have an amazing shower. So bench, bench, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total shower heads. <laughs> wow. That could be a lot of water coming out of there. Coming on over, before we get to the closet, I just don't wanna go through the shower. I'm not wearing my shoes right now, but just because they have the floors clean. We have our toilet area, and it's nice how far back the toilet is, because when you close the door, you're not gonna get trapped in there. Right here we have, this is a cool closet. It's very nice, so there's two sides to it. Or it could be the hers and hers, it could be uh, you know, most of this <laughs> you probably take it up as well. So double bar, double bar, double bar. We have drawers for uh, jewelry, watches, all that kind of stuff. You have larger shelves as well for shoes. And if we come over here, this side is quite a bit bigger. So lots of double bars, shoes, shoes, more, you know, same thing, jewelry, whatnot, more shoes. And then what's nice right here is they have just a single bar for those uh, gowns and dresses and garment bags so they don't just hang on themselves. But coming on down, let's go check out that kitchen, check out that backyard, and wrap up this tour. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever regarding this home, any resale or new, please give me a call. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Again, all my info is down in the description and the pinned comment as well. If you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out the channel, helps with the YouTube algorithm. And again, I'm going back to posting daily. So if you wanna stay up to date, make sure to subscribe. So coming on back down. So coming on over, this room is so big. Before we go check out the backyard, before we check out the kitchen and living area, right here, 
we have a little bar area. We have a dry bar. We have a refrigerator for beers and wines. We have the whole rack set up for your wines. I like it. We're gonna go all the way down, work our way back. So right here, we're just getting all of it set up for film. We're gonna be shooting all the photos today too. Again, this is gonna be coming out probably sometime next week. You have washer dryer, you have a sink, you have all of these uppers. Again, when you're buying new, all of these are extras. So it's hit or miss, depending on if the home is what you're looking for, it might be a good deal. They even put some um, uh, tint on the garage door so you couldn't see all the way in. And then this garage is pretty deep. It's probably mm, 22 or 24 feet. I'm gonna say probably 22. It's not standard depth. At least it doesn't look like it. Backing on out. We get to the two car garage right here. And in the two car garage, I know a lot of people like me to open the garage doors, especially the new construction. Unfortunately, they use them as storage and they always keep them locked. You have access to the backyard, oversized water heater. We have the water softener. And then we have, again, same thing with the uh, tint on the glass. So it's a little bit of privacy. That's a big garage. <laughs> now, we get to this incredible living space, our kitchen. A lot you can do with here. <laughs> it's big. We have a fireplace over there. We have some built-ins over here. You could set this up for kind of a family area, a dining area. I don't know. What would you do? Leave a comment down below. I'm very curious to hear what you guys would do with this, how you would lay it out. You could probably put, what, two, four, and another three, at least nine, I'm guessing, bar stools here. We have the little bay, uh, bill paying station. We have the, our 40 inch uppers. We have this really nice stone. And they even did a different type of stone on the island. It's actually two tone. You can see it more matches the cabinets. Right here, we have our microwave. We have our Mealy. Uh, espresso machine so if you like espresso you just come right here and you can have espressos made right at home we have basically two islands in here because you have this little counter that doesn't go all the way you have this little one with the uh, fruit and vegetable sink but before we get over there and see all that let's turn over here we have all of this storage we have our dishwasher I believe all of the appliances are wolf and sub-zero minus that uh, espresso maker we have our stainless steel sink if you don't know what this is, this is a reverse osmosis. So this is basically bottled water coming out of here. And what's cool is you don't see this too often. We have cold and hot. So if you want tea or anything like that, you can get hot water directly from here. Here's our view. We haven't even talked about this. They have full pocket doors in this corner. So you can just slide that all the way to the wall, slide it all the way into the wall, and it just opens up the entire room. I love the ceiling in here. So again, we have a second sink for the fruits and vegetables and whatnot. We have a little espresso area if you want to put like a coffee maker there, a little nook, but we do have our espresso machine. We have our sub-zero refrigerator and freezer right here. We have our pantry and it is very tall. Coming on around, we have our Wolf oven with six burner and another one over there so if you need double oven it even has the warming tray below it we have our pot filler right here if you don't know what this is this is actually for putting out water you put it right above the pot you turn it on water comes out and then that way you don't have to carry that pot back and forth from the sink when it becomes heavy we have this huge commercial looking uh, vent hood again there's our second oven more cabinetry there's a lot of storage and this is cool is this what i think it is yep you even have the trash can one, so you don't even have to put it on the edge. Your trash can sli slides in and out right there. Again, more built-ins. We have our fireplace. Let's go ahead and head on out back. Before we do, I wanna see what's in here. I have not opened this door yet. Right here, we have a coat closet, so if you wanna keep them out here, you can as well, storage. And then this awesome backyard. I love these doors. Now this one can slide even more. We just didn't want to open it all the way. We have zero threshold sliders. So it doesn't have a little bump where you have to come up and over. We're gonna turn just a bit. Again, we have those French doors right there that lead into right before the, um, the front door. That's the bathroom door right there. 
We have a covered patio all the way over here. Let's go ahead and check out the backyard. A little bit of synthetic grass over here with the fountain. Now, this home is ready. They didn't want it, but they wanted to at least pre-plumb it. You can do an uh, outdoor kitchen right here. That is gas for a barbecue. If you wanna put one in here, it would be really cool with like a big L right here. We have our fireplace. I would do, if this was me, I would put like a pergola, like the wood beams right here. And just so there's a little bit more shade. I mean, it's already in the shade. And then I'm gonna go stand on top of the jacuzzi. Cause you can see the strip from here even. It's pretty neat. We have our tanning shelf right here. So if you wanna put some chairs in the pool and just kind of relax, get the toes wet, you can do that. We have our jacuzzi. And then right there, let's see if I can get it. Again, you can see a good amount of the strip right there. Pretty neat home. Again, one of the things I also like about this, I don't know if I pointed it out. Let me step down. This is at my eye level right now. That's the home behind you. You're up above them. So there's no one gonna be peeking in right here. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments. Really neat home. It's not even on the market yet. So if you want a private showing, reach out to me again. Give me a call. Love to help you out in any way possible. If you're not in town, we can always do a FaceTime showing or Zoom where you can tell me I want to go back, open this, open that, don't do that kind of thing. You could walk me around. Again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. It helps it grow. Again, make sure to subscribe. I'm putting out videos every single day. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.